All right, guys, and welcome to a brand new game. Once again, I tell you what, we're knocking out the new games lately. The latest game in the, I should say, the latest game to get the quote souls like unquote label is here. Thymesia or Thymesia. I like, I prefer that, but it's, I'm sure it's Thymesia. It came out today. I'm um, playing it on release date. What I really liked about this, though, was that it was unavailable on the PlayStation Store until the day it was released. Let's get in and explore what this game is all about. Again, like with a few games I've done lately, I don't know if this will become a full-blown series, whether I'll complete the game or not. It all depends on your reactions, whether you really like this. Let's check it out together. Oh, I've got to do the talking. In the beginning, people thought it was just another infectious disease. It wasn't until the livestock began dying and those who had been infected began shrieking out in pain that they realized a deadly plague had befallen them. The various kingdoms tried to fend off the sickness and ghastly creatures, but their efforts were futile and despair engulfed the entire continent. Hermes' kingdom, founded atop a colossal tree, quickly rose to power due to their use of a miraculous alchemical science, which was able to turn the plague into a cure. As the plague ravaged the lands, they relied on this alchemy to light the blessed flame. But where there is light, there will always be shadow. Wow. Wow, instant, instant graphic gratification. We'll call it graphification. <laughs> Basic controls, what do we got? The left stick, the L3 sprint. Okay, interesting. Obviously everything, look around on the right stick. Use X to interact. And we've got a pause menu. All right, I reckon we can do that. Wow, let, let us check this out. This is an Unreal Engine game. I'm guessing it's Unreal Engine 4, but already I like the look of it atmospheric misty i can i can feel i mean quality wise excellent now this is an indie game technically but we'll see we've got more opinions to follow a crumpled up piece of paper follow the commands and search for the cause okay how do i view how do i view the the piece of paper can i view the piece of paper uh talents items we have a sword and a bloodstained dagger and a collection of memories. Uh, I don't know what that piece of paper even says. Follow the commands and search for the guard. Oh, is that what it says? Follow the commands. All right, we're following commands. Saber attack R1 to perform a saber attack. Use circle to dodge enemy attacks. Saber attacks deal damage to the enemy, leave wounds on them. Wounds are temporary and will heal after a short period if more damage, if no more damage is inflicted. When uh, the enemy's health and wounds are both zero, they will become dazed. Approaching a dazed enemy and use R1 to execute them. I see. All right, let's kick some ass. I hope you're an enemy because I'm about to attack you. Okay, nice dodge. Okay, I think we, I think we got him. That's it. It's all over. Okay, I like it. We got some fast dodge movement here. This is very nice. Now, can we interact with any doors? Doesn't look like it. So, let's just keep on hacking and slashing our way through. There's a certain blurry effect as you move through. The motion blur is, is strong with this one. Oh, we have to, we can't jump. No jump buttons. Deflect. Use L1 just before the enemy's attack hits Corvus. Corvus, hang on a minute. There was another game where the main character was Corvus. Oh, what was it? I can't remember the name of it. Deflecting an enemy attack damages the enemy and negates any damage. I see. All right, we'll do a little deflection then. Come on, hit me. There you go. All right, that didn't quite work. We'll try it again. Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me. Yes. Love it. Okay, so damage negation. Dodge. Can we... Oh, we can smash these down. Okay, okay, we are in. Paper on the ground. Oh, one. A deadly silence hangs over the streets and the city's completely sealed off. There's no food to be found, 
nor any water. What are these notes left behind by randoms? I can't kill things that are already dead. Okay, we've established this. So, I like the design. We're, we seem to be beneath the roots of a giant tree. It's, it does, I mean, it does feel like a Bloodborne sort of inspired game. Administrative order due to the recent epidemic. Oh, an epidemic outbreak. Hermes Kingdom is declaring a state of emergency. All citizens must abide by the following orders. Number one, all citizens are forbidden from going out. Essential supplies will be distributed by the knights. Number two, any sightings of plague-like symptoms or mutations must be immediately reported to the knights to be dealt with. Number three, any corpses or unclean objects must be handed over to the relevant personnel for incineration and purification. Effective immediately. All right, so the plague has taken over this place. I love his little cloak thing. I wonder if we get to change. And it's got a, he's got a pretty nice masquerade mask on. It's a great looking suit of armor, actually. Leather clad. He's got some what look to be like metal. He's got metal thighs. Uh, lock on. Face an enemy. Use R3 to lock on. Okay. When locked on, move left or right. Oh, okay. So we can we can strafe once we're locked on. All right. Dodged. Okay, come on. Let's try another one of these perfect parries, if that's what you might call it. Yep, it was good. It was good damage negation. All right, we got the key to the plaza or a key to plaza. Uh, was that a general? General? You do anything over here? No. So no jumping. Sort of a little bit odd, but not a problem. It's almost got a dreamlike quality. This place because of that blur when you're running. Uh -huh. So now is everything something we want to kill? You are the devourer. Wield your claws, tear apart the something. Claw attack. We've got an R2 to perform a claw attack. It deals a lot more damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. I see. Ah, I got you. Dodge, dodged. Have some more claws. I love that. Okay, the dodge isn't... The dodge is really useful. Great so far. We've done him in. Obtaining a plague weapon. Each enemy has a unique plague weapon and Corpus can reave it for his own use. Hold R2 to fully charge Corpus's claw and release a reave, uh, release to reave a plague weapon. Reave deals even more damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. Corpus is vulnerable whilst charging his claw, so it's safer to perform on dazed enemies. Okay. Did that do anything? Got a test ride. Let's ride. Casting a reeved plague weapon. Use triangle to cast a reeved plague weapon. Can only be used once. Corvus has super armor when casting plague weapons, but still takes damage. Oh, that is gorgeous. Can only be used once, though, and I just used it. <laughs> I just wanted to see what it did, man. Who are you? Oh, you're not friendly. Oh, yes. Have one of those. Did it. Easy, mate. Now, can I set myself on fire? Test number one. Oh, man, the game doesn't let me set myself on fire. Never mind. We'll find a way. There's blood everywhere. Town looks pretty damn cool. Sort of almost Tudor-like in design. Uh-oh. Just saw you. They give you a, a hell of a... Oh, oh that one hurt. I give you a really early sort of warning that they're wielding or they're drawing back for a, a big release. <laughs> That's what she said. An anonymous soldier's diary 01. The king's dagger and the grey armour. They are our last hope. They led the survivors and tried to make things right. The infected corpses were burned to purify them of sickness. And we are standing amongst <laughs> the burned corpses. Okay, so I don't know how to heal. I need to be able to heal. We've, we've got 156. We're about halfway down. Kind of hoping that there'd be healing items, but nothing so far. I have 
to be a bit smarter about our uh, our attacks. Even though I thought I'd done pretty well so far. Resting at a beacon will save current progress, refill potions, and restore... <laughs> there we go. Restore health and energy. Resting at a beacon also resurrect most enemies. Most enemies is interesting. I wonder if it doesn't resurrect like bosses or mini bosses, that kind of thing. Activate and rest. Love that. Chair made of wood. I've actually seen chairs like this. Oh, hello. Who are you? I've seen chairs like this actually grown naturally. People are shaping them to look like this, like in the real world. Take a break trophy. I'll take the trophy. And what is this? We have resume game, cease recall. I've got nothing. I can't select anything else. It's all locked up. So our main objective, Hermes Fortress, search for the cause. We've got more. Love that sword he's got as well. It's like a saber. Uh-oh. Feathers as least as least of those iron arrows pierce their weaknesses. Critical attacks and feather attack. What? When a green light appears before an enemy attack, they will perform a critical that cannot be defended. Instead, Corvus must move out of range or use a feather attack. So we can, we can throw a feather. We'll give him a little tickle under the chin and interrupt the enemy attack just before the enemy's critical attack hits Corvus. You'll re regenerate thrown feathers over time. Feathers will also leave wounds on the enemy and stop them from healing for a while. Okay. Looks like we've got a mini boss here. Let's see what he does. I'm going to try one of these feather attacks. Come on. Okay, that... Okay, I see what he did. It, I mean, it sort of worked. But I haven't seen this green, undefendable attack just yet. Just a nice dodge. Whoa! Got out of the way. Just in time. And that's, that's it. We saw it. Okay, it's done. Okay, let's just get out of here gonna just lock on there we go got him hit him with the feather ouch use a potion while Corvus health is low uh, press up to consume a potion you can only carry a limited amount so use them wisely yeah all right oh. we've nearly broken whatever guard he's got there that dodge that worked feather attack very decent. That was not decent. I've, I've got to use a health potion. There it is. Oh, I dodged at the wrong time. So dumb. All right, all right, all right. Got to get out of here. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I don't know why I didn't. Why I didn't press the feather button. I thought I was going to get him with the last hit there. Oh, nice. And we got the key to the cemetery. So, we did a good thing. Throw a feather and interrupt the enemy attack right before the enemy critical hits Corvus. Yeah, okay. That'll take some practice, but I'll, I know what to look out for. So, we've got a new area to explore. Let's head this way. So, we've got some kind of um, points at the top right there. 974 somethings. Credits. XP, who knows? Let's see what this is. The Resident's Diary. How did this all begin? They said that an incident occurred on the day of the king's birthday. Previously, the plague was only spreading outside the kingdom, but after the outbreak, all have gone mad. Okay, so maybe we're gonna read more diary entries as we go. I'd like to turn off this motion blur, but I had a look in the in the video settings. There wasn't really anything there. And we have an area down there. I wonder if all of this is explorable. I'll tell you what, he looks like he's been telling lies, doesn't he? Look at that nose. Okay, we have a, a set of grand steps, both up and down with blood everywhere. So which path should we take? Let's try just straight over here first. Okay, that was pointless. Nothing here. Okay, what'd you say? Up or down? Let's go with down. See what see what's all see what this is all about. Places we can't crouch or anything. No. Ooh, we got a we got a pikeman. 
Oh. Well, that's annoying. Oh, I like that. What did I get back? I got some kind of health there. I love this claw attack. Oh. Don't like that, though. Get your pokey stick away from me. Oh, he regened health. Oh, no. Memory interrupted. I mean, tell you what, that's a proper Dark Souls way to die. The red letters. Okay, memory shards. When Corvus's health reaches zero, his memory is interrupted and converted into shards. Ah, that's what we got. You can retrieve the last shards at the location where his memory was interrupted. Corvus will acquire memory shards from defeating enemies. So this is like your runes. Uh, or... Or what's... <laughs> played so many Souls games, I've forgotten the names of them now. Memory shards are used to level up a Cor uh, Corvus at a beacon, or by talking to Isomy. Isomy. Okay, so that's our recover point. Do we have to kill this thing again? No. So that's one of the enemies that does not respawn. Okay, we can run as well. Okay, I forgot about the sprint button. So, let's get round here. Uh... Around here. Pick up my memories. Which I believe are nicely placed indeed. Right here. Okay, let's grab them. There we go. Memories retrieved. 974 of them back. Thank you very much. And we can... Oh, this was the staircase I couldn't get past before. Okay. Now let's take this silly little pikeman down. Can't hear me coming up behind him. What is it? I pulled back off his body there. Okay, he's got a triple attack. I have to watch out for that. Dodged. Oh, I didn't dodge it. And again. Got something off him. I don't know quite how I managed that, but I'll take it. So unfortunately, I lost a load of life there. Let's heal up. I've only got three of these health potions. Must be used wisely. All right, another one bit in the muddy dust. What about you? I love that. All over. All over so quickly. Paper on the ground number two. The pathway to all regions of the kingdom are either lined with monsters or blocked by soldiers. None can leave and none can enter. So beautiful. Well, I like the atmosphere. I like the area. I, th I, I, would, I would like to get rid of that blurry effect on camera turn, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I didn't beg for this game, I paid for it. Right, there's nothing in here. We can't go any further than this invisible wall. So, nothing in this room apart from blood. Can't move any further. All right, well, we'll continue exploring. We'll go up the staircase this time. I think that's everything down here. Discovered, maybe. Maybe we'll come back later. Perhaps that room has more secrets to be revealed. Seems strange that it existed, but there was nothing in it. You had to break your way through it to progress. So, uh, we'll see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a big thing. Is this the first main boss? Oh, God. Here we go. Yeah. Boss arena, if ever I've seen one. Oh, that is like, yeah, well, we'll come back for that one another time. Oh, you're so dead. That's great armor. Chainmail underneath. Uh-oh, uh-oh, all right, all right. Have to pick our moments with this guy.
Don't be greedy. Oh. What happened there? You got one hit on me and you got all overexcited. <gasps> Seriously, what? I can't, I can't take... Did I, did I just get whacked by his single... I was doing all right there. Man, I bet you're able to beat that guy first time. Who are you? Oh, you're Isami. Corvus, you're finally awake. I was worried about you. You were badly hurt. Luckily, you made it back in time. Corvus, do you remember what you did? You need the right formula to use Hermes' answer. It appears that the injury caused you to lose your memory, so perhaps it would be helpful to start with a description of what you still remember. Come back when you've got your memories in order. Until then, you can walk around. It might help jog your memory. Well, thank you. Ainsley? Ainsley? Ashley? What was your name? <laughs> so, we got to look around. Something might jog him. I think he's probably supposed to die in that fight, but I reckon it was doable. Hermes Royal Bulletin. The families of the Knightly Order pe petitioned the king to stop sending knights to battle outside the kingdom's borders. The former chairman of the Institute for All Chemical Studies, Emerald, has officially appointed someone to take her position. Emerald said that she wanted someone with even greater abilities than herself to lead the alchemical research in Hermes. The Twilight Circus, hailing from the Sea of Trees, was once again invited to perform in the royal court. As expected, Ringmaster Odur's new performance was received with great acclaim from all who had attended. Hmm. Okay. I, I, somebody had a little party. We have to keep on exploring. Exploring, even. Uh, Isami, that's your name. Aizami. Philosopher's Hill is the royal family sanctuary. Every fall, father would take us here. He says that on the hill, he is not king, but merely a father and a friend. There is no need for formalities here, he would say. After the outbreak, domestic matters became pressing, and our visits to this place grew less and less. Philosopher's Hill, a map menu. Corvus can recall his memories by visiting locations and quests in the map. More memories are unlocked when Corvus starts to remember. Oh, I haven't got a map yet. Oh, is this a map? We found a map. The Sea of Trees. I see. Of trees. In the early days of the plague, the nobles banished all criminals, the poor and the sickly, to a lower level of the kingdom known as the Sea of Trees. The upper rings of society, living above the slum, care nothing of their lives. They refer to them as the hopeless, letting them succumb to sickness and all manner of ghastly creatures. All right. Uh, are you sh are you sure to choose the Sea of Trees? Well, hold on. Let me just let me just have a little look around. Here's Philosopher's Hill. So we could go back to the... Is that back to where we were? A sea of trees? Or we've got to continue exploring? Edward the Blessed. What brings me the greatest joy is coming to Philosopher's Hill with the children every year. Watching them run about, playing together, never fails to help me forget the turmoil in the kingdom. Recently, some strange sickness has plagued the lands beyond our borders. I must make sure our kingdom is prepared. Mm hmm. We have a gate. I love the look of that gate. Ancient words. It's the exhortation of former kings. He who examines himself shall never be lost. <laughs> it's always a good idea to examine yourself from time to time, people. Okay. Doctor's orders now. Alright, looks like we've only got one option. We're going to head back to the sea of trees or maybe I go, can I go speak to her now because I know what's going on hey I know what's going on now Corvus are you ready to recall continue to recall or leave yeah go on then ah oh, so we can go to the map and take this place or through her okay yep sea of trees it is take me back to whatever memory I have to reclaim I'm really annoyed about that boss fight. I thought I was getting getting somewhere. I reckon I have a couple of goes of that. I could have beaten it first time. The Sea of Trees. Here we are. Right, we can save it here. Level up menu. Corvus can use memory shards to enhance his attributes. Strength. 
increases attack and wound damage. Vitality increases max health. Plague increases claw damage and maximum energy. Gains one talent point each time he increases an attribute up to level twenty. Only level twenty-five. All right. Well, let's 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 make a start. Beacon has been found. Right. How do I how do I level up? Oh, I just go into rest. Ah. Here it is. Level me up, baby. Uh, how many points have we got? Just is it just one, or is it cost? Oh, I see. I need five hundred shards for one level up. I can give it to strength, vitality, or plague. Always go for health first. It's it's just standard. Um, strength or plague, strength or plague. All right, let's go with strength. Get the attack damage and the health up to start with. Very nice. It's not too complicated a, a system, but I quite like that. You can use talent points to learn new talents. Talents can be unlearned at any time, so experiment with different playstyles to prepare for the various challenges that lie ahead. Unlock a talent. So we've got Saber, Deflect, Dodge, Claw, Feather, Strategies. Oh my god, alright, this is a good skill tree. There's a lot to it. A hell of a lot to it. Saber attacks level 2. Perf perform fast saber attacks up to a 5 hit combo. I've got I've got one. All right, we'll take one. Oh, I can only take one. Oh, I can only take one. Whoops. I can reset it. But I think we'll just we'll stick with our attack damage for now. Okay. Back in out. Oh, I see you can mix it up whenever you like. Have I got another one then? Oh, unspent talent points. Yes, I have. Deflect. Use the dagger to fend off enemy attacks. Sidestep basic enemy attacks to evade all damage. Oh, that was the circle button, but that's what I've already got. Oh, I see. That's why it's lit up. Yes, of course. Corvus can perform a second dodge. Oh, I like that. Yes, it's done. All right. Um, resuming game. Let's go. There's the second dodge. Looks good. We got him. We got him good. In fact, we got him so good, we walked through the fence around this tree. Now, I haven't seen anything like a c collectible yet. Uh, I think the camera just screwed me. But it's revealed uh, the location of something. Oh, and we've got breakable barrels. What have you got for me in here? There we go, collectible. A uh, collection of memories is a, a level one is a consumable. What does the consumable do? Look at these floating bags of something. Somebody's decided to decorate fairy lights. Oh, how disappointing. I was going for a claw attack. We got one. We got one. Oh, I've so zoned in on someone else. All right, that one's done. Took a bit too much damage there. Someone else over there. Let's check this out. Tattered Twilight Circus Recruitment Ad. Wow, what a name. The Twilight Circus is, has the following openings. No restrictions or qualifications. All able-bodied applicants welcome. Porter, 20 position street down to 10. Five men and five women will be required to undergo a physical examination. Oh, oh, rubber glove treatment. And perform clerical duties within the tent. Outstanding compensation. Interested parties, please contact some somebody. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, ladders. Oh, ladders. Sounds like a, an exclamation of joy. Oh, ladders. I'm so happy. I did something good there. You can only hit one at a time with that claw attack. That seems a little unfair. Oh, no, I think I hit them both. It's all good.
I like that move. Actually, combat-wise, it's in your interest. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. I'm such a fool. I didn't keep an eye on my health. Oh, well. Learning how to play Souls-type games all over again. Keep an eye on your health. So dumb. Oh wow, nice close up. Alright, we don't need to take that guy on again, but then what do we got? A hand axe. For a little bit of skill. Got to get out the way. Alright, we didn't really need to take him out, but I want the uh the memory points, whatever it's called. Now I should have some more of them up here somewhere. Okay, okay. go on then. I'll tell you what, that special attack, pretty damn good. Are they completely done? They are. I love the way their bodies disappear as well. Is it? Am I pulling like health points off them with that attack? Feels like it. Okay, straight up the ladder again. There, there they are. My memories that look like green roots. 555. Okay, I see. I see. That worked well. But it said we can only use that one once. Once how long? I haven't even seen where it... Like it must have a cooldown time or something. Or is it a once per life thing? Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, you coming down? I wonder if they do that. No, they don't seem to. No interest in joining me down here. Okay, he was going for a kick. Nice. Very nice. So what do we got here? Hand axe, skills. The plague weapon menu. Corvus can use skill shards obtained from fallen enemies to unlock or upgrade plague weapons. Corvus can equip unlocked plague weapons in the plague weapons menu. Use cast... Sorry, use square to cast an unequipped plague weapon. Each consumes energy and does not disappear. Each weapon... Oh. Okay, I'm going to try a square button in a minute. I don't quite know what it means, but we'll, we'll play. Twilight Circus poster game. We have returned a brand new program made just for you, the audience, with feature, with featured acts such as Big Clown Beatorama, Dagger's Fatal Roll Call, and the highly anticipated The Grand Illusionist. Odeur's mysterious finale. Every Saturday and Sunday, just at the brink of dusk, the circus tent opens for you. I feel excited. So that's why we've got all these uh, these lights and what do you call them? Flags, things. Uh, can we open any of these? Aha! Uh -huh. Plenty of paths to explore. Okay, that's a poster we've already read. Uh oh! Uh oh! Piece of cake, mate. Easy. Ah. This was what we saw from above, but I thought there... Or below, sorry. I thought there was... Ah, oh, there is. There's a thing. There's a thing. Let's go get the thing. We got it. Note from an unknown hopeless. I want to join the circus in order to provide for my family. 
There are rumors floating around that some people go into the tent but never come out. But the pay is so good that nobody really cares. <laughs> if you can't bring your money out back out with you, why? Never mind. The staff member that did my health check said, my body is just what they're looking for. No idea what that means, but to hell with it. Oh, I think that was the last time this person was ever heard of. All right, this is good. This is very good. We've, we've, we've made a little progress, at least found a secret area that we spotted before. And on we go. We can get through, we haven't been through here yet, and we haven't been beyond it to the left back there. Aha, uh -huh, another little secret area. Don't mind if I do. Tree Blessed Manuscript. The exiled have created a settlement that surrounds the sacred trees. These towering deities protect us from monsters and plague. The prophets say that even just carrying the broken twig of a sacred tree can drive off the pestilence. I mean, what are these pulsating, bulging sacks, ball sacks? Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Look what we have here. A way down. Two. Oh, that's supposed to be read already as well. So, can we open this? Yes, we can. We've got ourselves, potentially, a shortcut back up there. Interesting. That means we can rest. Maybe level up. Um, let's get ourselves a little more health. We can't level up anymore. That'll do. Plague weapon. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, we've got three. Yeah, so we need three. So we've got four out of three. You sure you want to unlock the hand axe? Oh, hand axe or knife? Halberd. Shield can't can't unlock any of them anyway so yeah we're going to unlock the hand x the handy x slash forward to stagger the enemy so that's the square button thing all right kind of exciting oh i have oh, i have got enough for another level hmm okay oh i didn't apply it okay there we go let's go uh, where do we go? Back through here. Shortcut is open. Let's get a move on. And you can quick climb the ladders. Just a point of note. Hit the sprint button. Job done. What What am I looking at? Why have I come over here? Almost felt like the camera did that on purpose. To draw my eye. Oh god! Square button. How do I use the square button? I mean, I know I can press it. Nothing seems to be happening. What happened? Get out of here, man. Really got to pick your moments. Like, you see that drawback. You got me. I knew it. It was going to happen. Ah, I've forgotten the uh, the counter. That's it. It's the feather, the feather button. This guy is causing me a little trouble. That was decent. So maybe it's when they've only got that green bar that I can use that more effectively. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm going around in circles a little bit now. It all feels too familiar. Yep, it is. We've been here already. But not here. Ah! 
Okay, this one's slightly quicker. Oh, nice block. Gotcha. Oh, nice. Love the slow-mo. It's all over. Knife skill shards. What happened with that thing I was supposed to have a square button for? Okay, I see. Okay, she had weak armor, so job done. Whoa! Didn't dodge that in time. There's pulsating smoky things over here. What do we got? Collection of memories. Consumable. Okay. There's another Twilight Circus recruitment ad. Seeking porters and carpenters. 50 positions available. No restrictions of qualifications. Outstanding compensation. Interested parties. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really care. Okay. Anything, anything hiding in the back here? How disappointing. Alright, pressing on. Yes, yeah, so I messed up that square button thing. Oh, it's there! So why wasn't it... Hmm. If I missed the point. What have I got? Basic controls. Oh, there's a law page as well. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, what was the last thing? Plague menu weapon. Can you skill shards obtained from fallen enemies to unlock them? All right, use square to cast an equipped plague weapon. Equipped plague weapons consume energy. Well, I have one equipped. It's the it's the axe on the on the. I don't like this. I'm walking into a plague. Oh god, I can't go that way. We're going to get poisoned to death. So we've got to kill that thing. I can't press square. It's not doing anything. It's like it's equipped in the wrong place. It's a reeved hand axe, but I can't. I'm pressing square. Look, and the, you see what's shaking is that grey button. I don't get it. So we can't go that way, or if I just got to run through it. I'm going to run for it. Oh, you can't run! Because he has to cover his mouth, which impedes his movement. That sucks. How do we get through, then? I've got to try. Okay, that did it. So we just got to get far enough in, take the damage, to destroy the smoky bomb thing. The consumable. Tattered Twilight Circus recruitment ad. Yep. Seen it many times, and I think a new shortcut has opened up. Or has it? Still can't use it. I don't know how, what I'm doing wrong. Oh, there it is. Got it. It was the, tr that's the, that's not the thing I thought it was. That was the triangle button. Love that. Love that. And that skill shards again. Hmm. Alright, let's get my last health potion. I'm just going around killing as, as many things as I can see, but it's all looking far too familiar. Oh, we've got another smoky area. Okay, we haven't been here. Oh, hi. Ah, the tree got in my way. 
We need to sack the director. Or at least the cameraman. Look at these statues. Or these wooden, almost petrified. What are you doing? Why are you screaming? Do you think that gave her some kind of berserker upgrade? If it did, didn't give her much of an advantage. So we've got to get that guy interested somehow. You want to come over? Doesn't care less. The thing is, it's not like you can run through it. Cause as soon as you get to the edge of it, it stops. Can't go around. I wonder if I can use the claw to get in a bit closer. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that, that did it. Okay, so that you can use the claw, I guess, to transport a little faster. I remember that. It's a bit like the quick step in Elden Ring. Huh. I need health. I really do need some healing. When I get that feeling. I haven't got any healing. Still, we got through that like a champ. I told them I didn't know what's in the buckets, but they just kept asking, even requesting to speak with villagers who have worked in the tent. My nephew actually worked in the tent, and he said that the buckets were filled with oddly shaped small creatures. But the circus folk are one of us, the tree blessed. So how could I possibly reveal their secret? I don't know what is going on. It's really try and form some kind of story in my mind because it's not it's not sort of sitting in at the moment all right I, 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 I know not where else to go okay so we'll just keep going up stands to reason right we started in the slums We've got to keep on climbing. We got around here. Is that a big ball of pus over there as well? Oh God, no! I'm not. I'm not ready for this. I don't have. <gasps> we got a resting point. Oh, that was good timing. Beacon found, and there's a boss right next to it. Okay, let's 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 have a little play. At least we'll get to heal up and level up. Um, let's get our plague talent up a little bit as well. Okay, that's applied. And unlock more talents. It doesn't say... Oh, I've got two points. Okay. Uh, deflect, dodge. I've really not been using the deflect. I know I should be. The claw. The claw. Feather, strategies... When taking damage, there's a 30% chance to reduce incoming damage. Oh, I see. Okay. Very cool. Extends the time bef before enemy wounds start healing. Okay. It's an interesting uh, combat system. Approach a dazed enemy and execute them. Yeah, we kind of got that already. Press R1 right after a dodge to perform a stab. Okay. Press R1 right after a dodge to perform a slash. Okay. Let's try that. I suppose we're going to have to do more about the deflection. Hold L1 to enter defensive mode. Reduces 60% of damage. Okay. Can't argue with that. Let's try it out. Right, come on then. Big fella. Love his uh, his outfit, stripy trousers. I think this guy was a clown in a former life. Uh -oh. Whoa! Wow, the dodge skills. Ow! 
Ow! That's not fair. I had him good, man. I had him. Well, at least we're back here. We've got a, another gate to open. No, you need the key to the side of the tent. Well, I guess who's... I guess we know who's holding it. There you go. How's that for a good start? Whoa! So you can't just dodge by going towards the... the guy. You've got to get out of the way of his weapon. It's not like Dark Souls sometimes where, where a dodge in the right place. Ouch. Gonna have to heal up. Right, I got you. Have this. I see. I'm beginning, I think I get the that health bar thing a little better so that the green means they're wounded when they've recovered it. It ain't coming back. Ah. Oh. Asshole. Now, I knew what to do there. I just didn't execute it. Oh man, not again. Look at his little face though. His little nose, I think his nose was just poking out through the, uh, the Hessian bag that they put him in. No wonder they did that to be fair. Alright, mates. I am trying a bit too hard with the, the slashing. I think I've got to be a bit more patient. Oh, I thought I got it right! I thought that was my moment to throw a feather. Threw a feather. That was decent, but... I mean, it was a good hit, but it didn't seem to do anything. Man alive, this guy. Okay, we have to try some different tactics. When to use that axe attack? I'm not. I'm not sure. I understand that bit. I get you. What's that? Is he just has he has he just healed or something? I feathered him. Man, he's just catching me on that first hit. I did something good. Oh, didn't get the timing on that last one. There we go. Feathered damage. So you've got to get him just before. Ouch. God, this guy's tough. I don't know if I managed to make that work just then. Alright, we got the health off him. There it is, feathered again. It's amazing, a, a, a boss this size being taken down by something as simple as a, a feather. He's done. Nice! Love that move. Potion menu. In the potion menu, Corvus can use an alchemy enhancer to increase the number of potions he can carry. 
potion's health recovery and the number of ingredient slots on a potion. After unlocking the ingredient slot... Oh my god, there's so much to remember. <laughs> Corvus can add different ingredients and gain extra effects. He'll obtain an alchemy enhancer after defeating, after defeating more challenging enemies for the first time. Hmm. Okay, so we got something good. Hammer, skill shards. Hammer, skill shards. We got two of them. Let's see if, there, if there's anything else lying around here. Clearly not. Okay, so what now? Should we should we save it again? Get our health back? We've got potions. Ah, here it is. General potion. Salute you, sir. Quantity three health recovery. It's equipped. I understand that. Can we upgrade it? Oh yes, we can. We can have the amount, the amount of recovery, or the number of slots we carry. Increase ingredient slots to... Huh. Do we get an extra potion by doing that? No, because that's what that is. We're going to have, we're going to have four potions. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll take that. Different potions as they come. Okay. Longer lasting ones. Let's level up as well. What can we do? I'm going to go up the strength a little bit. So yeah, very much like souls. I, I mean, it's, it is comparable, I suppose. I see what they mean now. Is that you need more and more shards as you level up. There's a lot of games like that, but I think souls is probably the most famous. Why it's got this uh, kind of reputation for being souls-like. Let's get the dodges going. Uh, Corvus can dodge twice. The second dodge is longer. This one. When successively dodging enemy attacks, gain one stack of offensive buff. Oh, I see. Oh, offensive. Square, t uh, sorry, circle before the, towards the enemy. The so dodge towards them. And right before their critical attack hits, jump and interrupt it. I like the sound of that. Oh god, that's even harder to do than throwing a feather. Okay, interesting though. Okay, I might go for this double dodge to get a, uh, an, an offensive buff. Okay, get that back. I like the way you can reset everything as well. So this is my triangular axe. What have we got over here? Are you sure you want to unlock the hammer? Yeah, go on then. We good? Can I... What do I get? I don't get two different things. Oh well, never mind. So we now have a new door open and a new location to explore. Guys, what do you think? What do you think of this game? I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, this is an indie game. This is not big budget. This was made by a small group of developers and I have to say, aesthetically, it's gorgeous. It's great, I should say. It's very nicely done. Combat's great, uh, it's fun. It's nowhere near as complicated as some others, but I think the skill tree and the level upping and all of that I don't have to get my head around. Uh, the enemy creatures, good. Timing is everything. I like that. And I'm looking forward to playing a little more. Do you want to see any more of this game? If you do, you know what to do. And if you're new, why don't you subscribe? You might enjoy all the other stuff on this channel. And there is a lot of it. I was looking through all of the playlists I've ever created since I started this channel. It's insane how many games I've covered. There'll be something there for you, I promise. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you very soon with more. Good night.